what's up YouTube? I'm back. I just I can't help but make this video. It's I'm gonna call this Dumb News Friday. I know a couple of stories broke yesterday, but there's a couple of stories today that I have kind of been posting on my Facebook that just make me go, oh people really let's start with the first one I ran across. The first one I ran across was about a bill in Oregon. They want to pass a bill that makes um, smoking a prescription-only drug. Seriously? First off, no doctor in their right mind would prescribe you a cigarette. Just going to tell you that right now. They want to make this punishable. And this is the kicker. They want to make this punishable if you are caught smoking a cigarette without a prescription. With a maximum, a maximum of a year in jail or a $6,250, no, $6,250, $6,250 fine. Seriously, this is some of the dumbest shit that I have ever heard. Seriously, and of course, it's, I hate to say it, these news stories I'm going to tell you are all Republican ideas. Go figure. They're down at the bottom of the basement. They are proving to themselves that they are morons. Nobody in their right mind is going to prescribe somebody a cigarette. They're going to prescribe you something else if you need a nicotine fix. They'll give you the patch. They'll give you the pills. They'll give you the electronic cigarettes. They'll give you something else. Gum. They'll give you something that gives you your nicotine so you don't lose your mind. But they're not going to make it a cigarette, a prescription drug. Sorry, not happening. It doesn't rank up there like a lot of that stuff. I I give up. This was done in Oregon. And yeah, this is just dumb. Dumb. Dumb news story number one. Let's go on to dumb news story number two. It's another bill that a Republican wants to pass. This one's in Nevada. I believe it was Nevada. New Mexico. My bad. New Mexico. Another dumb idea. This is probably dumber than the cigarette one. It's another Republican. This time the Republicans used a woman to propose the bill. We're going to make women keep their babies when raped. So that way when they have the baby, we can give a drug test, we can DNA test it, blah, 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 blah. And we can find who the rapist was. Retarded! Sorry. Dumb idea. You're going to make a woman have a baby she doesn't want. I mean, I I don't know where else to go. This this is just like where does it stop? Where in the world does it stop? It hurts my head to think about this. I mean, you can think of every which way in the world that this is wrong. People, 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 people. This is it's immorally wrong. It has to be constitutionally wrong. Republicans, again, are failing us. I, by far, am not a Republican, but I'm also not a Democrat. I have common sense, so I wouldn't be in either one of those parties. Oh, God, people, seriously. One more story. This one's not quite as bad because I can kind of see where it came from. But again, it's a Republican idea. You're on welfare. You can't buy a lottery ticket. Okay, I see where you want to go with it. Your money from welfare is supposed to be going towards food, clothes, you know, stuff you need to live while you're looking for a job. But you, someone comes to you and hands you a dollar. Which is, you know, they see that you're poor or your friend gives you a dollar, for, gives you money for Christmas or your birthday or parents or whatever gives you some money. And you go, well, it's not my welfare check. I'll go buy a lottery ticket. You know, nothing can stop you. All, all, believe most states now have the automated, they have the machines that they go and put their money in, buy their lottery ticket, and walk out, and never have to communicate with anybody. So, then what do we do? Then they go, here, gives the winning ticket to a friend. The friend goes and cashes it. Yeah, the friend's going to get hit with all the tax stuff, but the, but the, but the guy that wanted it goes, because you're a friend, I'll give you the money for the taxes. So you don't have, nothing comes out of your pocket, plus a little extra to help you, you know, for your time, for doing it all. Uh, 
Nothing can stop it. These are all Republican ideas. I hate to say it, and I hate to sound like I'm a Democrat, because I'm not. I'm just using common sense. These are all news stories that have just been... Oh, people, people, people. Are you kidding me? Let's just get into some non... I don't know anymore. Where do we start? We got non-Republican news stories. We got... The Django toys being banned from eBay because supposedly the toys are controversial because they're promoting slavery or some bullshit. I I, I don't know. They're, they weren't even pushed as toys. They're pushed as collector's items, which were meant they were targeted for adults. I mean, come on, eBay. Stop playing government. They're collectibles. So if little Johnny gets a hold of them and wants to play with them, what the fuck ever. There's so much more worse in the world that we could that little Johnny could get their hands on. I see nothing wrong with the toys. I haven't seen the movie. I want to see the movie, but whatever. It is what it is, and eBay is playing politics again. Another news story, and this one just is dumb too. So, I guess, supposedly, Lego's being accused by the, some Turkish leaders that are offended by the new Star Wars set. Huh? I saw this today, and I went, huh? So, supposedly, Jabba's palace set is offensive to the Turks. Who the fuck cares? Seriously? If you're offended by a Star Wars set, you have more issues than anything else. It's Jabba's palace. Are people really that easily butthurt nowadays? You touch them with a stick and they go home and cry and sue you. Subway's being sued over 11 inches of bread versus 12 inches of bread. I mean, really well. Let's get our ass together and let's make some common sense. These people that we put in power in all countries seem to be the dumbest people that we can find off the street corner. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I give up. I'm done.